One of his many nicknames was the Great Communicator. We have every right to dream heroic dreams. And after all, why shouldn't we believe that? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be learning more about the life and accomplishments of President Ronald Reagan. Born February 6, 1911, in Illinois, Ronald Wilson Reagan was a Renaissance man in his youth, standing out in sports, theater, and school politics. Five years after graduating from Eureka College in 1932, he signed with Warner Brothers and began his work as an on-screen actor. One of his most well-known roles was the 1940 film Newt Rockney, All-American. In fact, this film was the reason he was later nicknamed The Gipper. Someday when the team's up against it, the brakes are beating the boys. Ask him to go in there with all they've got. Win just one for The Gipper. During his career, he worked extensively within the Screen Actors Guild and eventually moved to the small screen as the host of the TV show General Electric Theater. For General Electric, here is Ronald Reagan. Reagan married twice during this period. His first wife was actress Jane Wyman, whom he wed in 1940. After their divorce, Reagan married Nancy Davis on March 4, 1952, and she remained his wife until his death. Reagan's political career started to take shape in the early 1950s. Though he began as a Democrat, he later joined the Republican Party. His political fundamentals were clear, lower taxes, smaller government, and a stronger military. By 1966, his charm and opinions had encouraged Californians to elect him as governor, and he kept the job for two terms. He promptly attempted to secure a spot as the Republican Party's presidential candidate, though his first attempts in 1968 and 1976 were unsuccessful. I've called this press conference to announce that I am a candidate for the presidency and to ask for the support of all Americans who share my belief that our nation needs to embark on a new and constructive course. In 1980, he finally won the nomination. Again, he used his charisma and sharp policies to win votes, and at the age of 69, he was elected the 40th President of the United States. His presidency between 1981 and 1989 was called the Reagan Revolution because of the great changes that swept the nation. A champion of stimulating the economy through lower taxes, his economic policies were nicknamed Reaganomics. However, these tactics made him less popular with the lower classes as they felt he did not understand their problems. Detractors also point out that while these policies did revive the economy, they also left his successor with a huge deficit. Only two months after his inauguration, on March 30, 1981, the president was shot by John Hinckley Jr. at the Hilton Washington Hotel. Reagan recuperated quickly, and in the wake of this assassination attempt, his approval rating soared to 73%. Throughout his presidency, Reagan handled conflicts both at home and abroad. For example, he led the country through the Cold War by implementing foreign policies that were criticized by some as too aggressive, but hailed by others. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. Reagan also became the first president to open a U.S.-hosted Olympic Games in the summer of 1984. Shortly after, he was re-elected in a landslide victory over former Vice President Walter Mondale and won the most electoral votes of any president in history. His second term also held crucial moments. When the Challenger space shuttle disintegrated, killing its seven-person crew in January of 1986, Reagan consoled a grieving nation with a stirring television address. The future doesn't belong to the faint-hearted. It belongs to the brave. The president and first lady also intensified the war on drugs during these years and began their Just Say No campaign. Though he was nicknamed the Teflon President, Reagan and his administration were not immune to controversy. The decade's biggest U.S. political scandal was revealed in late 86 in the Iran-Contra affair. What began as a strategic opening to Iran deteriorated in its implementation into trading arms for hostages. It was alleged that the country had financed a Nicaraguan rebel group with funds from secret arms sales to Iran. The United States was eventually found guilty of war crimes against Nicaragua. Though Reagan claimed he was unaware of the plot, his popularity plummeted. Once he left office in 1989, Reagan led a relatively private life. In 1994, at the age of 83, it was announced that the former president was suffering from Alzheimer's disease. 
Ten years later, on June 5, 2004, Reagan died due to complications from the disease. A state funeral was held and a national day of mourning was proclaimed by then-President George W. Bush. With an endearing sense of humor, influential actions, and an ability to charm Republicans and Democrats alike, Reagan renewed the United States' promise for the future and today is considered one of the best presidents in history. Goodbye, God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.